This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. The UNI football team suffers a hard-fought double overtime loss at home against South Dakota. The coach, just talk about how, how tough it is to, to lose a game that, that you felt like you had early on. Well, anytime you lose is tough, but to lose that way and, and, and have the opportunities we had, that's what's frustrating. There were some bright spots, and I know since it just happened, it's hard to find those. But early on, this, this Panther offense was clicking, and the defense was making some plays against the South Dakota team that's made plays all year, Coach. Yeah, we, I thought we came out good and made that real nice drive, gave up a drive back to them. I thought we blew, we blew coverage, and, uh, but then settled in and started playing the game. But, you know, it was, there's some, probably the brightest thing that happened was Logan Bagler's punting. You know, but our consistency, we didn't have consistency in play. We had too many, you know, you make a play here and you make an error there. It, it neutralized everything, and that's why you're sitting in overtime. 7-7 seven, seven heading into the second quarter. Big second quarter for your team, though, where it seemed like things were clicking for your Panthers. Yeah, we were. It should have been clicking better even, I thought. But uh, they, were, they were doing some things, and I thought we should have scored right before halftime, then the intercept right before halftime took, that, took those points off the board. Turnovers are a big part of the game of football, and you'd love to, to win the turnover battle, and that's why the Panthers have had so much success over the years. How big was it tonight that, that you lose the turnover battle? Well, I thought that was you know, it, it'll be the difference in the game when you go back and look at it because it gave them life with the the intercepts allowed them back in the game. You know, it just it swung momentum. Uh, defense didn't do didn't perform at, at a high level, but at the same time, it's, you let them back in the game because of those momentum swings, those emotional swings. Seems like though we had an emergence of a second running back, and how important is it to not rely 100% on David David Johnson to carry 100% of the workload? Yeah, he needs uh, you know David. Dave was a good player, and, and yeah, I thought Evan did a nice job. So they were the probably two that stood out that, that showed up was was Evan and uh, and uh, and Logan Bigler. So you know, it just if that's what we're looking for for bright spots, you can see how frustrating it is after the game that you know we should have had a lot lot, lot more things here to talk about. Obviously, the Panthers, the team, took it hard because they this was one just like last week losing in overtime, and just like the week before at North Dakota State losing by just one point. So close, uh, and just a play here, a play there could have made the difference between a win and a loss. Unfortunately. Yeah, well, I mean that's that's the part that we have to do, and that's the consistency you need. And you know, ever since you know the last couple of weeks, we just we've we've let third down conversions happen. We, we haven't performed. Or we haven't performed well enough on offense to put people away. You know, and, and then to go into overtime and, and not get the win is frustrating. Talk about how good of an opponent you faced though today and how tough this conference is. You knew that it's it's next to impossible to run the table in a conference like this. Well, it's, it's a great league, you know, but you know, we're Northern Iowa and I don't accept that. That's just because of who we are. And, you know, but I have to accept the fact that we've lost three times now, and we got to find a way to, to get in the win column. You love this team, and this team is special. Why do you feel like this team has what it needs to do to be able to bounce back? Well, we, we recruited these players. These are our players, and they're good players. They've, they've shown to be great, and we've already seen that this year. We have not, we haven't made strides that we need to make here in this middle part of the season. And we need to find the right combination of players to start moving forward again. Coach, it's still a long season, still a lot of football left to play. Why are you excited for the next five weeks? And, and I know the show has to go on the road, but why you still feel confident with so much football left to play? Well, we're, we're, where the glass is half full is that we've got a Big 12 win and a, and a Southland win, and it's a 12-game season. So those things are, are all going to add up because this year you talk totally different than maybe you did five years ago with how to get to the how to get to December but man we've just better worry about getting the next week right now and start performing you know every play and somehow we got to get the message to the to our team that you know it's, it's going to take our 95 man roster to to step up and we, we need to start that immediately. Panthers are hurt a little depleted but why are you excited for practice this week coach? Well I'm Man, you only get to play so often, and and you know they, they need to go out and play. And I don't know if I'm excited. I'm always exci excited, but I want to get back to the practice field. I want to get back to next Saturday because there's 
there's players on this team that want to win. And that's why I want to go back. If, if we've got players, we've proven that. Yeah. But we've also proven that if we don't play four quarters, that people can beat us. So, you know, we're on that edge that each game, we got to go out and perform every play and fight to the end and, and, and try to win those games. I mean, they just got to know they got to play for the whole three hours. Panthers about three plays away from being undefeated. Coach, best luck as you take the show on the road next week. Right, thank you. Plenty more Panther Sports Talk coming up, including a special feature on the big old lineman, Dan Kruger. Stay tuned for more here on Panther Sports Talk.